Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first video of mine that you have clicked on. This is a video that you will be seeing in December but today is actually the 26th of September and I am in my first Christmas top of the year. That's probably a lie because I probably wore some in January but i got my Walt Disney World Mickey's Main Street Christmas Tree Farm top on today because I am filming the intro to my 12 pans of Christmas project pan for 2022. And I actually meant to film this yesterday but logistics just got in the way so the plan is that this would be introed on the 25th of September then updated 25th of October, November and the finale being Christmas Day itself. We are a day late but I'm sure a day is not going to skew the results too far um, so let's get on into it. The first item in the project I don't actually have to hold up and show you just now because I actually just repressed it this morning so it's still setting and it is my Tarte Party Blush which was the Sephora birthday gift several years ago. It was actually in one of my previous project pans, it was in I think my year long project pan for 2021. I think it was definitely in one of my previous project pans so it had a huge pan in it and I'll put up a cutaway of it as it was before I repressed it and then what it looks like repressed. I quite fancy seeing if I can try and finish that by the end of this project. Now I do have a blush in my main project pan for this year which is obviously still running at this point so might be a bit ambitious to try and be doing two within the year but this one started with a really big pan in it we've now repressed it so i'm hoping we should see some good movement on this within the project and ideally i'd like to finish it before the end of the year so fingers crossed The next product was in my 2021 12 Pans of Christmas project pan so I will link that up in the eye if you want to go and watch that in full. Again we're starting with a pan in this product. It is my number 7 eyeshadow in the colour Seashell. I have it on my lids today, kind of neutral shimmery sort of iridescent shade that looks really nice with a lot of different makeup looks so hopefully it should be easy to get lots and lots of use out of. We do have a pan already so I'm not going to set a goal for this, I don't expect to finish it or anything like that by the end of the year but just to expand the pan I thought would be quite satisfying to watch. I do also have the footage from last year's project pan so I thought maybe at the end of this year's uh, project pan we could watch it right through from getting that pan last year into whatever we manage this year which should be quite satisfying to see. I am also putting in the lipstick that I'm wearing right now. It's from Guerlain and it's the shade 1925. So it's this sort of beautiful, just perfect for the festive season red. I think I'll be able to get lots and lots of wear out of it. It is a matte lipstick. I'm not expecting to actually see all that much movement on it within the project. I do have a Guerlain lipstick in my main project pan for this year and I know from using that all year how little movement I've seen on it and that's in the standard formula which is kind of satiny. This is a matte so I'm expecting even less movement on this than I get on the normal lipstick but I just wanted to see if we could document a little bit of progress so I am putting that in and yeah I really do like it so I'm really excited to get some use out of it. I think it's nice sometimes to put things in a project pan that are quite new. So this is a lipstick that I got earlier this year. I obviously don't want to put it in like a year long project pan and be like thinking I'm going to finish it. Not that I ever would finish a lipstick within a year as we know from my main project pan this year and the lipstick that is within that. But yeah, like I, I think these like short term project pans are quite nice to make sure you're getting your use out of something new without like kind of finishing it more quickly than you would like to finish it. So yeah, really excited to have this one in the project. To complement the lipstick I'm putting in this lip liner from MAC. It is their lip liner in the shade red with a double D at the end. Yeah, just a kind of standard lip pencil and Again, not going to set any goals in this, just that it works with the lipstick, so anytime I'm wearing the lipstick, I will be able to wear this and see what movement we make. 
a festive themed product that I got is my hand cream that I'm putting into this project. This was in my Christmas stocking last year. I think my gran got it when we were in Dublin judging by the address on the back. It's not like a brand that I can link to or anything but it's the North Pole Novelties Company Sugar Candy Scented Hand Lotion and we are weighing this and it's starting off at a weight of 75 grams. For this first month of the project I'm crossing over with the end of my 13 by Halloween project pan. If you've not seen that I will link the playlist up in the eye for you to go and watch and I do have a hand cream in that that I'm trying to finish this month so I feel like I'll probably be trying to finish that in October for the end of that project and then like hitting this one hard in November and December so might not see a lot of movement on this in the first month but I'm still hopeful that I'll manage to finish it within the project. I like it a lot better than the hand cream that I've caught in that project so that's why I'm deliberately telling myself like finish the other one first because I know if it was just left to me I would pick to use the one in this project every time. Another product that I am weighing is from Lush. Now I've had this for years and it's one of their massage bars. Now I think I've actually got like three or four of these massage bars and I just don't use them. They're under body lotions within my beauty inventory. I would like to get them used but I just I don't reach for them. I would always reach for a normal body lotion uh, over one of these solid bars then they melt on contact with your skin and because they are massage bars they're designed for that purpose so they're a bit more work than just slapping on and rubbing in a normal body cream so I have quite a few of these but very rarely reach for them so this one I am putting in the project this is I think called Haughty it's supposed to be quite good for like sore muscles and whatever I'm just going to put it back in the bag so it doesn't start melting eh, onto my fingers this one has a starting weight of 58 grams I don't know how much because I've never actually kind of consistently used one of these I don't know what's realistic to try and use up but I would really like to actually try and finish it so if I could do that within the project that would be wonderful but yeah just to make some progress on this as I said I've got a few of them I've never really reached for them consistently so I'm also kind of putting this in the project to force me to reach for it to really get to know the product and then that way if I find that this just doesn't work for me I'm going to declutter the other ones by the end of the year um, or I might fall in love and find that I actually really like this when I make the effort to use it so we'll see how it goes but either way I would ideally like this one out of my collection by the end of the year through this project if that is realistic we'll soon find out also in my 13 by Halloween project pan that will have ended obviously by the time this video is uh, up but I've got a facial spray in it at the moment and once I knock that one out in that project it will leave me with only two in my inventory so I would like to also try and knock this one out by the end of the year so that I go into 2023 with only one facial spray on my inventory. This one is from Ren. it's their Flash Defense Anti-Pollution Mist. I'm gonna again try and finish uh, the other one first before moving on to this one so we might not see a lot of movement by the first update but I'm fairly confident I'll be able to finish this within the year and really excited to be down to only one of that type of product left on my inventory so yeah glad to be putting this one in. Another product on my inventory that's coming really close to almost being under control is hair oil. Just this month I actually finished my Moroccan oil hair oil mini. So in this project I would like to try and finish up this hair oil mini. So there's 15 mils of product so ideally like five mils a month essentially if we can do that. It sounds a lot easier than I think it actually is. I've got really fine hair, it gets very easily weighed down so I don't actually like to use a lot of product in it. I would like to finish this if I can or at least make a really really good dent in it so that Next year I would only have two left and hopefully if I put one in next year's project pan, spoiler alert, uh, I would then hopefully be getting to a point where again I only had one because that is the, the goal for most of the categories on my inventory. Just get interrupted because my house phone rang, when does that ever happen? Like who phones house phones anyway? So whatever I was saying, this product, the Charlotte Mensa Manchetti hair oil, I'm hoping to finish within the project. Another product that I'm hoping to finish within the project is this Grow Gorgeous 
back into the roots 10 minute stimulating scalp mask this year in general has actually been really good for me finally like shifting some of my hair products out of my inventory i feel like for a really long time i wasn't really using a lot and then i feel like this year i've just kind of managed to finish off quite a few different things so i'm hoping to keep that going and finish this off by the end of the year as well so you can see where i've marked it that's how much it's left i'm hopeful that by putting it in the project i'll finish it i've had it since 2017 before i went to my first beauty no buy so Clearly I was never going to finish it just as it was sitting in my stash but hopefully by putting it in the project I'll be able to knock it out. Because I am trying to really reduce my hair care stash I'm counting these two as one of the 12 items. So what I've done is I have stickered ones so that I know the difference. So the starting weight on the stickered one of these is 10 grams. I should actually say what things are. This is the Orbe Feather Balm Weightless Styler. So it's just two the same. The one with the sticker is a 10 gram starting weight and the one that is unstickered is a 19 gram starting weight. Within my main project pan this year I actually have just finished this from Davines so that's sitting there so that I can film my update for that this Saturday. So this was the Davines Liquid Spell Reinforcing Bodifying Fluid. Now that I've finished that I'm going to try and finish these. As I said, really fine hair, it gets weighed down really easily. I don't like having too much product in it. So the fact that I've had this in this year's project pan, I've not used products like this and I've got quite a lot of like things like this. So yeah, I'm hoping to knock these two out and have another two off of my inventory by the end of the year. And then item number 12 is a similar setup where it is two minis that I'm counting as one product, Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. So I actually have a full size of this. If you are a regular viewer, you will know that my goal this year for my makeup rehab is to finish up 300 products. So uh, yeah, that is basically the kind of logic behind a lot of these minis is that you know they get the quantity up. In previous years I've been doing reverse rouge, I've been concentrating more on the value of what I'm using up but this year it's all about the quantity so I would like to bolster that number with another two minis in this last product that I'm counting as one product for the sake of the 12 pans. So I've done the same as I've done with the Orbe, I put a sticker on the back of one of them. The starting weight of the one with the sticker is 21 grams and then the starting weight of the unstickered product is 20 grams. I think I just said that was the last item but it's actually not. This is the last item, item number 12 and it's from Guerlain, it's their Lore Radiance Concentrate Primer and this has actually got gold flecks through it which I thought made it super sort of festive and appropriate for Christmas so yeah I have actually I've literally used this for the first time today so this was a brand new product until today. I'm hopeful that because it is a mini I think it's five mils of product yeah five mils um, I should be able to finish it within the project so that is actually the last item. So that is where we are starting off for my 12 pans of Christmas. I am really really excited to get into, I like these little sort of short term uh, project pans, I feel like they add a bit of urgency and yeah I'm just quite into them. Especially I feel like at this point in the year I've been doing my year long one for so long, I'm kind of quite ready for the end of it so I quite enjoy doing something that sort of rejuvenates my, my project pan love at this time of the year. So. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you like project pan content, as I said, I did this project last year. I've done my 13 by Halloween this year. I've also had my main project pans last year and this year. So I will link things up on the end card if you want to go and check any of those out. And do hit subscribe so that you can come back to the updates of this project. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.